Have your gaming habits changed or have you ever noticed that your gaming habits changed? Personally, I've noticed that my habits have changed throughout the years. I'm not saying that I won't play specific titles, but my habits are like seasons. They've changed throughout the year and it reflected what I needed in that moment in my life. It could be something I was going through or the amount of time that I was able to dedicate to gaming every single week. So have you ever noticed this? Do you remember when you played games right after school and felt accomplished? Maybe instead of immediately making your way through Grand Theft Auto Online, you were playing like a single player campaign. Or when unlocking the ability to prestige in Call of Duty was like completing a battle pass. Something you actually wanted to achieve. Not something you felt forced to finish because you didn't want to miss out on any of the seasonal cosmetics. Achievable aspects of a game, but they didn't have to constantly remind you and beg for your attention. You wanted this. You saw people in lobbies with these merits and you wanted to get them too. You actually wanted to earn it. I know my gaming habits have changed and I kind of think of them as gaming art in my life. Kind of like how Naruto has arcs. Gaming has the same things. I have less time to play games now than before I left for college and especially before I started working full time. But when you look back and you start thinking about it a bit more, gaming habits get a little bit more interesting. It's more than I just don't have any time for that or I haven't played that game yet. I haven't heard about it. So here's my main question. Do you think gaming meets you where you're at or do you meet gaming where it's at? Before we see where I'm trying to go with this, we have to start from the beginning. Elementary gaming. When you were younger, you had all the time in the world, or at least everyone made you believe that. When the final bell rang at school, you knew it was time to hop on Xbox Live because you most likely finished your homework before class even ended. And sure, you had some responsibilities like chores, maybe you were on a sports team or you were hanging out with some friends, but most days you knew where you could find your friends and that was playing games. Even if you were hanging out in person at some point during that time, you'd be like, all right, dude, I'm going to go home, I'm gonna have some dinner. I'm going to hop on Call of Duty, Gears of War, Halo, whatever it was. And you'd be like, all right, see you there. Maybe you'd be in a lobby for like an hour before your friends even got online, but you knew they'd be there eventually. During these times, you could spend hours playing games and not even realize how much you were leveling up every single day. Honestly, no one even cared how much you were leveling up unless there was like some sort of new gun or attachment that unlocked at like level 50. Practically from like three p.m. to 11 p.m. you could probably find your friends online or you'd be found online. Playing with friends made the experience all that much better and even if you weren't playing any of the multiplayer games at the time you were most likely playing like the latest single player game and being able to go through a 40 hour campaign 20 hour campaign because you didn't really care about going outside you were outside for most of the day at school anyways when you got home you could literally be inside all day long and it wouldn't even matter anymore. What I'm trying to make is that during one day one gaming session you had enough time to complete single player activities you can go ahead and hop online and make some progress with like, your friends and maybe it was a lot easier back then because games required a lot less from you single player games in particular and i mean i guess multiplayer games too now but there's still games that respect your time i just think maybe they respected your time a bit more back then i think really you just had more time to play games back then it was a bit simpler and then came graduation day when everything crumbled just kidding i i don't think everything crumbled unless you absolutely hated college. But after high school, most people left for college or whatever reason that was, and you kept up with a few of them, and I wouldn't say you kept up with everyone most likely, but you did keep up with a few of them. I would say that's probably true for most people, but you shortly realize college is not like high school. You might be spending about two weeks to a month writing one essay, where in high school you could finish that essay in like one sitting. This meant I needed to change the way I viewed my hobbies. And my hobbies were basically the same from when I was in high school. Video game, sports, hanging out with friends. You know, I actually think about it now, those are my hobbies to this day. So I guess things really haven't really changed that much. But in college, I didn't really have a lot of time to finish single player games. I didn't have enough time to focus on an RPG that was like 100 hours long. At least I didn't have the time to play it consistently. I remember I started playing Persona 5 in college. I didn't finish until the pandemic. So that's like 2016 and finishing in like 2020, 2021. Absolutely fantastic game. And I wish I did finish it back then, but I'm glad I finished it when I did. Basically, I would start one game and not play it for the rest of the month because I was so busy. These type of games, they didn't meet me where I was in that moment. So I relied on multiplayer games during college. Games like Call of Duty, FIFA, Battlefield. They were heavy in my rotation. I could pick them up, know exactly what I needed to do, and sessions would last between like 20 minutes to a few hours. And the best part about these were I could just buy them once and I could have them for the rest of the year. I wouldn't need to spend any extra money, especially in college when I wasn't making that much money. And having to buy a new single player game every time I beat another game, that, that just was not affordable. I feel like that's probably Probably most people in college. On top of college, sometimes you'd be working either a part-time or full-time job. You'd be tired. You'd have 
have class, you'd have to go to school, you have assignments, your hobby needed to meet you where you were in that moment. So for me, like I said, I needed something that met me where I was and gave me incremental bursts of my own hobby, which was video games. And honestly, if I wanted a good narrative back then, I could probably just go to the movies and watch a two hour movie and get my fill. I might have also binged the entire series of Naruto during college and I definitely it took me like 250 hours. So I might be complaining for no reason. But then you graduate and your life changes again. Maybe you get a job, you start working full time, 40 hours a week, 160 hours a month. And that's not even considering your commute or time it takes you to prep or get ready or do this and that. You're spending way more time at work, even not at work. And now when you come home, are you immediately going to want to play video games? Probably not. You're probably going to be even more tired. And what's that old saying? More money, more problems. When you have more money, you start to have less time. It's kind of inevitable. When your paychecks begin to get bigger, it's because you're working longer hours or the work you're doing is a lot more stressful. Like, just think about it. You'd probably never have a backlog if you could spend 160 hours a month playing video games, or you might just spend those 160 hours playing games like Call of Duty or multiplayer games, and you wouldn't notice a difference. So the saying, more money, more problems. It's kind of true. You, you kind of have a responsibility to yourself now, and maybe you feel guilty laying on the couch all day or at your desk playing games. Maybe you need to go work out, walk your dog, make food, go to the grocery store. Maybe when you get home, you have to clean, do your laundry, hang out with your wife, husband, partner, whatever it is. Maybe you have kids. These things take time and they cut into the time that you have away from work. So the question is, how do you play games now? You kind of have to make sacrifices. Do you want to focus on the latest single player game or do you want to work on the backlog that you already have? Maybe you just want to play multiplayer games with some friends. You're even hanging out with your friends these days. Less focus, more social fun. You kind of have to plan out the experience that you want to have is what being an adult is. But once again, the way you consume games changes. So my gaming habits have changed over the years. I think I'm getting to the point now where it's easier to juggle them all. Not not just my gaming habits but my hobbies overall which in turn kind of helps my gaming habits anyways right now i'm making my way through final fantasy 7 rebirth taking my time doing every single side quest and honestly i don't even care if i finish it tomorrow or in a week or in a month i know the next gaming experience i'm gonna have is gonna be there when i finish final fantasy 7 or not so anyways these are just some of the ways that i've noticed that gaming meets me where i'm at no matter where i am in life and it's kind of always for the best games always know how to fit into my life even if it's in the slightest way possible and I I think that's a good thing but let me know what you think in the comments below have you noticed your own habits shifting changing transforming have you changed the way you play or the amount that you play every single week or day on maybe you don't even game on consoles or pcs anymore and it's just handhelds maybe you want some advice on handheld gaming or finishing your backlog i made some videos on that not too long ago so i'll go ahead and link those below the like button but anyways thanks for watching catch you later